Bobby is done for the night. Uh, he is uh, outside uh, on the LA LA streets doing some research, market research. I don't think we're not long. Why not? <laughs> Race 13, 35 minutes total. 35 minutes. <laughs> raises uh, an early position with 7-5 of clubs gets called by Berkey in the small one. Re-raise. 4,500. Dan choosing an interesting candidate wow. here with Queen-7 really offsuit. Ran. Interesting candidate here to, to as a squeeze. I guess the way he's constructing is he's gonna choose hands that are slightly outside of the hands he can just defend. Uh, and maybe he deems this to be one of those hands. So maybe a hand like Queen Eight Offsuit he would just call. So this is the next ranking down, and this is where he's gonna begin to build his three bet range. But he's gonna face resistance. Both players are gonna call, and this is not what Dammer wanted to see. Three players. But he does outflop both opponents and flop comes king, queen, three, queen, and the three of diamonds. Curious to see what Dammer chooses, whether he's gonna bet or check. Pot is roughly 14k. Check. And he does choose to check. Doug here choosing 6, to fire 000. a bet. 6,000 into roughly 14. Berkey chooses to fold. I expect Dammer to continue through a call. Wow, Doug betting with the backdoor flush draw. Very ambitious. Let's also have the backdoor straight draw. Bet or take your free equity here? What do you think? It's tough because if you bet, it's a one-to-one -one SPR. Doug would have to sh probably shove. He yeah. can't doesn't necessarily want to bet fold his equity here. And what value hands are you betting too often on this turn against Danmer's range? I mean, Doug will have ace, ace queen, king queen, but he's not king jack. But he's not going to bet all of those hands all the time. Correct. But he is choosing to bet here. Eighty-five. 8,500 into roughly 25. Oh, super small. So yeah. he's setting up a shove here, or he just wants Dammer to commit us to, to have to commit? I mean, he's leveraging his stack rather well here. The problem is if he gets shoved on, it's really nasty. Uh, but he he is pretty much leveraging Danmer here. So Danmer calls here. This is amazing. And wow. he does choose to call. Wow, he, he has less than half pot left, and Danmer's staring at him. Getting the online player getting his live read on. Yeah, for sure. Oh, and oh, a full house and a flush. Wow, what a river card. Oh my God. I wonder if Dammer's gonna choose a lead here, but. Or, or, or also, I wonder if he, if he checks. I wonder if Doug shoves. I think he will, just because Dammer has more kings than queens here. Oh boy. Really unfortunate run out for Paul. I mean, if Dammer shoves, how does Doug fold? If Dammer checks, it would be a really good check back by Doug, but I don't yeah. know if he will. <laughs> yeah. Dammer contemplating. <laughs> Looking like he's going to shove, what? and he does. I thought we were going to lose by 100, too. I'm Brutal. excited that we're still in there. Call. And Danmer wins the hand. Seventy-seven thousand oh dollar pot. Yeah. 
And that is uh, oh Dammer wins a massive pot right, here. That's going to bring him to potentially the biggest winner of the night. Those were not the hands that everybody else at the table thought those guys had. Yeah, definitely.